Hi everyone! In this video I will show you how I paint this silk painting using the no resist technique. It is a technique that I have developed. The secret is in the layers, and first I paint a blue background and let it dry. For the second layer, I want to create a fuzzy, out-of-focus look to make it look like there are reeds in the background. It adds depth to the painting. I start by spraying the canvas with water. Note that at this point the first layer had dried completely. After that, I just start painting reeds using black paint. The paintbrush isn't very important at this point, nor is how the reeds look, as the paint will spread and fade somewhat on the wet silk. Most silk painters use different types of resist to control the paint on the silk. I don't. I started painting this way several years ago, I was spending the summer with my family on an island with no access to silk painting supplies and I ran out of gutta. So I continued painting without it and just fell in love with this way of painting. I'm using paper towels to soak up excess paint and as you can see I keep spraying the canvas to keep it wet. Silk dries really quickly because it's so thin. Here I'm adding shadows at the bottom to create the ground for the reeds to stand on. It looks very black right now, but it will fade as it dries. After my second layer dried, the colors had faded more than I wanted, so I decided to paint more of the same. So this is my third layer. As you can see, the shading of the ground on the bottom had almost completely disappeared, so I'm adding more of that. Oops, I got distracted by the camera. And now I'm painting more background reeds. The silk is still wet. If you'd like to see more content like this, please let me know in the comments section and consider subscribing to my channel. If you're interested in my paintings or other activities at the Art Place Finland, please visit my website. And finally, I'm ready for the final layer and the actual reeds. I use black and a very fine paintbrush to add my silhouettes. You have to be really careful as silk paints are very runny and tend to spread. It's slow going and I typically do this in several sittings.
I'm adding the final touches. And voila, a finished painting. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel.